This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Move in all directions. You can make a simple game that moves this sprite around the screen. Oh, cool. Do this. Add four separate conditional statements. Don't let that scare you. A conditional statement means an if statement that makes the wing bot move in every direction. So I already started mine. Let me reset it for you. And it doesn't move at all. So it wants us to make it move in all directions. All right. So let's take a chat, take a look at the control section. And we're going to be controlling our winged bot, I guess. And we want to use an if. So move left when the arrow key is pressed. Another way of saying that is move left if the arrow key is pressed. And so we're going to check if it is pressed. Let me use the if block. Let me go to world then. And I'm going to use key down. And they want us to do left first. So cool. I'm going to do left. Okay. And then how do I move left? Well, I can, if you look down here, I can also reset it. Look at my X value because X would be left and right. And when I go to the left, X is going down. So what I would do then is I'm going to use an equals. And then I'm going to use a minus. So I'm going to be using the counter pattern. And what am I going to do? Well, I need to change the X value. So flyer dot, whoops, X is what I was going to put. Flyer dot X is going to be equal to flyer dot X minus two, maybe this is the speed. So I'm going to do minus two. You could do minus one, however fast you want it to be. And then what's happening here? Well, let me demo it first. Whoop, this sometimes happens. Let me go into show text mode. Yep. And then I'm going to refresh. I'll show you. Yeah, that happens. I'm going to refresh my page. Code.org does that sometimes. It's a glitch. And now let me go back to block mode. There we go. All right. Now, if I hold left, I'm moving. Why am I moving? Well, draw loop runs 30 times a second, 30 times a second. All of this code, 30 times a second. So if key down left, I'm asking the computer a question. The computer has two options. It can say true or false. So what I'm doing is saying if the key down left and the computer says false, right? Because right now I'm not holding the left key down. The computer says false. If it is false, this blue mouth thing inside the if statement, this code here would never run. If this is false, this stuff doesn't run, right? It just skips beyond it and runs the code beneath. It draws our sprite. It goes back around and it checks again. Still, it's false. So this code doesn't run. Now I'm going to press the left button and boom. The second I do, this is true, right? The computer says if key down left, true. If it's true, we use the counter pattern. We say, okay, flyer dot X is now equal to the old flyer dot X's value. Well, where's flyer? Here we are. So it starts at 200. So let's pretend it's centered right now. 200 minus two. So the new value would be 198. We redraw the background. Notice it's at the top and the flyer. We redraw that stuff and it looks like it shifted over two. This is running 30 times a second. So if I'm holding left still, well then what's one nine, there's a new X value, right? If I'm holding left, this is true. It will then say flyer.x has another new value. It's equal to the old value. What was the old value? 198 minus two. So now it's 196. And we keep getting this illusion of movement. Now we want all directions. So let's keep going here. I'm gonna need right. I'm gonna need up and way down here, down. Okay, just gonna do them all together and then key down because they're going to work the same. The only difference is their direction. So this should be right. So if to go left, we subtract from X. To go right, we're going to be adding to X. I'm going to need an equal sign for all of these. And then let me get math. Boom. Um, up is the only one we're going to subtract from. So, and I'll explain that in a sec. And I'm going to put plus and plus, right? And then what do I need? I'm going to use flyer.x. So I could even use their blocks if I wanted to for each of these. I'm probably just going to write it in. So to go right, I'm going to do flyer.x is equal to flyer.x plus two. Sure. I'm going to keep it that speed. Now to go up, remember, look at my y value right here. Y is 164. So it's kind of strange. But as I go up, notice y decreases. So to go up, I need to subtract from the flyer's y value, y property. Minus two, because I'm staying consistent with my speed. And then to go down, if I pull down, Y goes up. So I need to increase, so I'm going to add two. Okay. And so let's give this a try. Oop, I guess I need to refresh again. It's being weird. Yep, there we go. Boom. Left. 
Whoa, what's going on with down? Oh, I forgot to. There we are. Down, up, left, right. We have a working flyer. Rah. Now watch this. I'm gonna hold left and down. It goes diagonal because if I hold left and down, the computer runs. Okay, this is true. We got to go to the left, and this is true. So it adds to y, right? And so combining that, we go down. It just looks for what's true and runs that code. It doesn't add to x. It wouldn't subtract from y. It only runs the if statements that are true. Cool. Onward.